they all say they want these elevators fixed on campus because it's causing so many challenges. Now, some people with disabilities who we talked with say they are missing class because they can't get to class. Christy Beatty says she is more than frustrated trying to get to class on the second floor of this building. Frustrated, annoyed at times. Beatty has been in a wheelchair for the past 10 years. She is a student at Delta College. She says the classes here are not hard, but getting to class is. Multiple elevators are down on campus. There's times you can't get to classes and take your test and you can't do other things. Delta College is undergoing an elevator renovation project to replace the elevators that were installed decades ago. Delta says there should be a working elevator in each building. For Beatty, that means calling an operator to have a freight elevator sent up to the second floor, which could take a while. There were times I was missing my test and having to reschedule them, and they've already moved on to the next subject, and I'm all like a little behind. Teachers are concerned as well. It's frustrating because when we have students who uh, need elevator access because they're in the wheelchair, and because of that, they've missed um, a total of three weeks worth of class. And one teacher tells me that a student had to completely drop out of her class because he couldn't get to her class on the third floor. The school has an obligation to accommodate their disabled students, whether that means renting portables for the last two months of class. Elevators in this building were supposed to be up and running by December of 2015. If this were anywhere else, if we were a private institution or other places, it would not take three years. Now, this elevator renovation project here at Delta College is funded by a $250 million Measure L bond. And um, we are told from a spokesperson here at Delta College that the renovations should be completed soon. We are told it could be within the next six months. That's the latest here in Stockton. I'm Melinda Meza, KCRA 3 News. Melinda.